for the next seven days, this solar panel right here is the only source of energy that I am allowed to use to power all of my devices. That includes everything from my headphones to my phone to the camera that I'm filming this on right now. The reason that I'm doing this is because I matched with a girl on Tinder the other day who was really interested in through hiking. That's like long-term hiking where you'll hike a little bit and camp and hike a little bit and camp and hike a little bit. The thing is, as a content creator, I use a lot of electricity between filming, editing, posting, looking at all my comments. And the biggest battery pack that I have is actually this right here. This is 10,000 milliamp hours. This won't even last me a day. So what I need to do is I need to find out if this solar panel is enough to be able to get me through like a week of hiking. The rules are really simple. I lose the challenge if I am no longer able to film, post, and upload these videos. So as long as I'm able to keep filming and posting, the challenge is a success. So even if I lose everything else, if I'm not able to go on Instagram or I'm not able to go on TikTok, as long as I'm able to keep making content, we're good. I think the first thing we're gonna do is find a bench so that we can sit down and I can show you all of the things that the solar panel can do and how I'm planning on optimizing this challenge. Here we go, I found some benches. We're gonna want one that's a little bit more in the sunlight though so we can collect more of that sweet, sweet energy. Okay, let me show you what this solar panel can do. This is a 21 watt panel with three panels on it and it's got two regular size USB ports. You can see them right there. We're gonna plug this in right now. If you have never used a solar panel like this before, the first thing that you should know is that you don't wanna plug it into your phone directly because these things, the voltage can vary a lot to where it'll dip up and down and up and down and it'll make your phone think that you're plugging it in and taking it out and plugging it in and taking it out and your phone screen will just keep turning on and off and on and off and you'll end up using more battery than you're actually getting because your phone does that. You wanna plug this into a battery pack like this because these things are designed to be able to take that charging current and flatten it out and charge themselves up. These don't have a big LCD screen that's gonna kill the battery. So we're gonna use one of these USB ports right here just for that. Now, the exception to this rule is if you have turned your phone completely off because then the LCD won't turn on and off. And so turning your phone off completely will allow you to plug this into this efficiently. So we are going to use the second USB port just for that to plug my second phone in. Once upon a time, I actually used to have a voltage meter that you would plug into USB-C so you could actually tell how much this is charging, how much energy is actually coming through this. But that got stolen in Barcelona, so now I've just gotta hope that my stuff is charging effectively. My phone that I'm filming this on right now is actually only at 29% right now, so I need to stop using this and hope that I can get as much battery out of this while we still have daylight. It's like 2 p.m. right now, so I imagine we have like four hours to be able to charge. Stupid little branches keep getting in my way though. Maybe I should not be sitting on a bench. Maybe I should go sit over there. I take it back, actually. Rather than sitting on this bench, we're going to go sit in that part over there and we're just going to like read or something. Okay. Transplanting gear. Actually, no. I want to sit up against a tree. A couple things to pay attention to if you're going to be trying this yourself is that the sun, get this, is hot. And so if you're going to have your electronic device here, you don't want to have this directly in the sunlight because your battery will do not fun things. So keep that covered. A lot of solar panels, they'll actually have a pouch right here for you to stick your device in and this will keep the sun off of it. But that works too. My phone is actually too large for that. The sun is actually at like a, I don't know, 30 degree angle. So we're going to use sticks to prop this up at a good angle right there. Look at that. I'm basically an engineer. And now I've actually got to find something to do while I sit here and wait for stuff to charge. Enter my Kindle. I do actually have a tablet in here that I could like watch YouTube on, but tablets are not very energy efficient. Kindles, they are super energy efficient because they don't actually have like a backlight. They just use an e-ink display. These things will last for weeks. Good entertainment if you're trying to be conservative with your energy. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but my phone is currently at 28%. Let's see how much this can charge up in a couple hours that we're here. So I'm not sure why I'm surprised, but it turns out the sun moves. And so I'm going to need to keep moving my solar panel out into like the sunny part. It's going to get old real quick. After sitting here reading for a while, I've decided that I need to find a better way to do this because I can't just like sit out in the sun for 12 hours a day while I try to charge my stuff. I need to find a way so that I can just set my solar panel down let it charge my battery pack and then check on it every so often without the solar panel and battery pack getting stolen. Honestly, I could just set the solar panel down right there and just walk away and come back a couple hours later, but I feel like somebody would probably take it if I did that. I need to find a secure way to be able to set this down to charge stuff. Maybe if I'm clever, I can like stick it on the roof of a building. Nobody will take it from there. It's just getting up and down without getting seen. That'll be the challenge. So yeah. I'm actually going to pack this up and head closer to the beach. The sun is moving in such a way that it's difficult to keep my solar panel in the sunlight. But in the nearly 30 minutes that we were sitting here, we were able to get like 13% charge. So actually, I'm going to say that that was more effective than I thought it would be. The beach actually isn't that far away, but I don't have sunscreen. and I didn't exactly like plan this when I woke up this morning, so I hope I don't get a sunburn. Also, just side note, carrying around a solar panel just feels weird. Beaches and the desert. Those are like the two places where you can always expect there to be sunlight. I'm just gonna try to find like a big rock to sit on. Hey, look at that, I found a big rock. 
Same deal as before, let's set up. For solar panels to get the most efficiency, you want to aim them toward the sun. So we're gonna make like a little uh, little tower here to set the solar panel against. No, nope, stand up. Up, 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 yeah. And I'll do one for the other side over here too. Okay, there we go. Do you guys like my towers? Now we just set the solar panel. Everything is so much harder to do with one hand when you're trying to film. I've said that before, I'm gonna keep saying it. There we go, now we just gotta plug it in. Now that we've got a little solar panel thing set up, let's rearrange these rocks here because I don't wanna sit on this. I wanna sit on that one and use this one as like a backrest. So let's, uh, let's do some engineering over here. Okay, the premise is really simple. We're going to take this bit. Oh, it's wet under here. Huh. We're gonna take the big rock and we're going to stick it up like this, kind of. I'm not sure if you guys can see this because of the way the camera is. So we're gonna take the big rock, we're gonna set it up like this. And we're going to take this smaller rock and we're going to put it right here. Now we just need to put something on the back of this rock so that if you lay on it, it won't like fall backward. I think we will use, come on. I think we'll use other rocks for that. Yeah, good. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, that is real sturdy. Now let's just get the sitting part figured out. When I moved the rock the first time, there was lots of this like dirt and wetness. So I want to lay this with just like lots of flat rocks right here. Then with those there, we're gonna take lots of smaller rocks and we're gonna sit them right here just to keep the dirt from coming up on your pants and like keep bugs out and whatnot. There we go. Let's give it a shot. Oh, oh, that is, oh, that is so nice. Holy shit, yes. Yes. If you guys are ever in Batumi and you happen to find my little solar throne, be sure to like sit in it and like send me a message on Instagram telling me what you think. I hope this still exists later. Oh, there's a big pile of stones over there too. I can use them to make stuff. I should really invest in sunscreen for tomorrow. I've also got to remember to keep my headphones charged. Luckily for me, headphones batteries are actually really small, so it should be easy to keep these charged, but something I've got to remember. Also, my smartwatch. I've turned this to like dumb watch mode, so it should last for like 25 days, but that is another thing that I would need to keep charged out on the trail. You know what? Actually, my shoes are coming off. If I'm gonna be here on the beach anyway, I'm going to enjoy it. <sighs> if I'm being honest, this little experiment might be too generous, actually, because if I'm out on the trail, if I'm hiking every day, I'm not going to have such a perfect little, uh, set up to collect solar energy for eight hours a day. So if I can't make this work, I definitely can't make it work on the trail. My primary concern right now is what happens when I try to edit this video. These videos can be pretty big, like a couple of gigabytes. So editing them, rendering them, and uploading them can take at least two hours. That means that I have to keep my uh, cell data or my Wi-Fi on for at least two hours later tonight. I've got I've to plan around that. You know, on second thought though, this beach isn't very popular. I feel like I might be able to hide this solar panel like somewhere over there and then just check back on it in a couple of hours. I feel like I could probably hide this. There's not that many people here. We have been here for a couple hours now. We're at 63%. That means we've gotten about 30% in the time that we've been here. I've actually attached my second battery pack to this. This is going to make each of them charge half as fast, but this way both of them are gonna get charged. So I've actually gotten to the point where I'm so bored that I'm just sitting here grinding rocks together to find out which one is stronger and which one is weaker. I'm trying to turn this piece of rock into an arrowhead by sanding down this. You can see that it is slowly working, very slowly. Come here, come here pup, come on, come on. I don't have food. Actually, I don't want you to come because I don't have food. Mm. Okay, it's almost 5 p.m. I feel like I've been here forever. But given how long this has taken, I think that my best strategy right now isn't to try to charge as much as I can, but to try to save as much power. That means putting all of my things onto like airplane mode, turning the brightnesses down, do whatever I can so that I don't need to wait on a fucking beach for like six hours tomorrow. Okay, my phone is at 93%. The battery pack itself is like at 50%. But as the sun goes down, we really start to lose efficiency. So we're not getting nearly as much energy out of this thing as we were earlier today. Also, I might want to clean my solar panel when I get back to my hostel just to get like dust and stuff off it. That might improve the efficiency. In theory, I would like to start editing this video right here just on the beach while I've got the sunlight, but it's actually too bright for me to really see my screen. So kind of a catch 22. I need the sunlight to be able to charge my stuff, but I can't edit with the sunlight. I think we're going to call it a day. My battery pack is at like 50%. My phones are at 90, my tablet's at 90. So I'd say that we're doing pretty good. Rather than staying here extra time, just like 
doing nothing. I think that we're going to start tomorrow a little bit earlier, find a place to hide the solar panel, and then uh, charge up the battery that way. That way I'm not wasting my time here doing nothing. Another perk to hiding the solar panel means I don't just need to carry it around with me everywhere I go. If I can find like a nice, nice good hiding spot. Yeah, so if I was actually hiking on a trail, I would not have gotten nearly as much energy as I did today. This would have been like strapped to my back and it would have only been in the sun sometimes when I happened to be facing. Yeah, this is way, way better than it would have actually been on the trail. I guess if I, we decided to camp for like the day and I put this down and we settled for a couple hours, then it might work. But really, this is best case scenario for a through hike. I think rather than focusing on trying to get more energy out of the solar panel, I should be focusing on conserving the energy that I got today. So my phone is on airplane mode so that we're not using any power trying to connect to cell services. And it's on battery saver so that all of its efficiencies are improved. I don't know what battery saver mode does, but apparently it helps. The only time that we're gonna connect to the internet is on Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is more efficient than cell data. I will be forced to use Bluetooth sometimes because my headphones are Bluetooth, but I'm gonna to try to keep that to a minimum. My phone also has this setting where I can change it from 90 hertz to 60 hertz. This should improve battery life too, at the cost of making my animation slightly slower. Before we head back to the hostel and start editing this video, I wanna get some dinner. For anybody that's new to this channel and doesn't know where I am, I'm in a country called Georgia right now and the food here is incredibly cheap. But there is one thing in particular that they serve here that I haven't found anywhere else and it's amazing. It's mayonnaise pizza. This right here is what we're looking for. Hello, can I get a pizza? Perfect, and card. This right here was a dollar thirty. A dollar thirty cents for this. Let me show you. This pizza is a special blend of hot dogs, eggs, mayonnaise, and peppers. It looks like they burnt it a little bit. Um, I eat this like every day for like most of my meals. We are also going to pick up some Diet Coke while we're out and about because being at the beach today, sitting in the sun has dehydrated me and I gotta get that liquid. My bed is next to a window, so I'm going to see if I can get any of the solar things from this window. It, probably not. There's not direct sunlight, but we're going to try it anyway. No, it is not able to charge. I want to show you guys the devices that I'm actually using for this challenge. We have my phone right here, which is 4,600 milliamp hours. We have my tablet, which is 7,000 milliamp hours. We have my Kindle, which is 1,700. We have this, which is 10,000. And we have my headphones, which is 600. If we take a look at the percentages for all of these devices right here, and we add them up, we can see this is how much battery percentage I have at the end of day number one. I think it's easier to do this this way, to add them all up and just do a percentage of the total devices than trying to keep track of each individual device as the day goes on. This is easier for you guys. Oh, by the way, I'm also using this camera, which I'm filming on right now, which is the Galaxy Note 10, uh, but it's really old, so I have no idea what the actual battery capacity of this thing is. It's at 86% right now, and I have no idea how to tell you what its capacity is. But now we need to actually edit this video. I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys this, but I use my phone to edit. I edit all of the videos on this, I render them, and then I just upload them from my phone. So just posting this video is going to take more battery. Update, the video has been edited, and it took this phone, the one that I'm editing this on, from 85% down to about 45. So that's like 30% gone. That's brutal. That is the end of day number one, though. So if you guys want to watch day number two, right there.